Today we continue our WWE 2K24 My GM with ECW as we get ready to book out our first ever show leading to our first PLE Hell in a Cell. It was a loaded draft, but we've come together with a solid starting roster. Now it's time to build out our first show heading to our pay-per-view. All right, so here we are. We're taking a look at the opening page here. You see Triple H has progress for us. He's waiting to see how our first week goes. We do have a commissioner goal. They want us to not book our most popular fighter this week. That's absolutely not going to be something we fulfill. So that means we will not be getting Get School 3, which immediately gives 30 ring experience for a superstar on the roster. But all things considered, I'm, I think I'm okay with that. Now, we have gone ahead. I have upgraded from a high school venue to a concert hall. That's going to give us plus eight show quality, 2,000 capacity compared to 1,000 capacity, and ticket prices up. Also unlocks submission matches now available as well. So this is something new to the game with logistics here where you can basically upgrade all the tiers for the various levels here they lock you do not have to rebuy them week to week so once i've unlocked it it will stay that way forever which is fantastic change for quality of life in my opinion again here's a look at the starting roster as you see we have bobby lashley as one of our heavyweight champions with our top popularity kevin owens is our World Heavyweight Champ for the ECW World Heavyweight title at 78 popularity. Gunther over here is a one half of the tag team uh, combination with Veer Mahan. And you can see all the other talent we have on this starting roster for our first week, season one. I think it's a strong roster. There are ways we can get upgrades. So this is something they've added in is talent scouts. So as you can see here, currently cost 1,001 point for scouting talent and you see is it will scout talent rookies levels zero to four which this is basically jobber material then you can also choose to do established stars that are level five to nine renowned stars level 10 to 14 icons level 15 to 19 and lastly legends level 20 to 24 at fifty thousand dollars and immortals excuse me there's one more level there hundred thousand dollars 25 is the level so we can scout all or whatever we want to do here i'm going to go ahead and turn it on for level two and click search and you can see what we find so you can see we get kofi kingston Liv morgan ricochet triton and these other people we've already scouted are still here um, i could spend more money if i want to we still have some money we could spend so i could go all the way up to legends and let's just do that for the sake of showing harley race is there wade barrett x pac jbl um and some others all in the mix as well so you only get four you get four superstars per search you can narrow it down if you want you can focus in on roles gender class and promo skill so this is something i really like adds a little strategy in it's not randomized every week it's going to be something you can kind of play with um and get some points there for that so i like that change a lot here you can see our starting inventory for our power cards, Beginner's Luck, To the Moon, Back Alley Crew, Extreme Rules, we have two of those, Cactus Jack, that's because we have Mick Foley, and I Know a Guy 3. So we're going to hang on to these for the time being, but let's go ahead and get into the first show, week one of our ECW My GM career. And ladies and gents, here you see it. We are booked. It's gonna cost $63,000. So we will have a little bit of money left over, but you can see the opening match here and the title match at the end. It's a stacked card showcasing every single superstar we have on the roster. Let's get into the matches, shall we? So here we go. We're gonna simulate. This is the opener title match. Tables match one-on-one. -on -one. Bobby Lashley for the World Heavy, or the World Television Championship, excuse me, against Dexter Loomis. We're gonna simulate, see who is our champion. And Dexter Loomis, the new champ. Three and a half star opener to get us going. Our new world te world television champion here at ECW. Core Jade calling out a rivalry beginning here. So nice little call out right there. Grows the rivalry up. Now we got our tag team, a world tag championships on the line. Can Cedric and Carmelo? They will. They win it. It is a opener right there. A big one. Opens a rivalry up between the two squads. Three and a half stars as well. MVP with a self promo to get some popularity up. And now here we are with our two biggest female superstars, Charlotte Flair, Alexa Bliss. It's an extreme rules matchup. And the winner is Alexa Bliss with the win. Three stars begins a feud between those two. Self promo for Brutus Creed, give him two popularity. And our main event for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. KO to retain, and he does. KO still 
your champion four star no feud to begin between him and logan paul all right ladies and gentlemen so you can see the post week drama curve and so forth you can see where we stack up compared to the competition three and a half stars across the board except for the mid card at three main event was at four uh, as, as you look at the star totals there, it looks like Raw had a pretty decent show except for their first mid-card matchup. Uh, you can see here, here's a SmackDown card we went up against there. Um, some solid matches overall, showcasing some solid talent. Raw, who again I think was second place this week in my opinion here, had some good matches around. Had a tag team match to finish up, Extreme Rules match at that. And then WCW as well. So, some solid stuff. Um, you can see the rivalries and everything right there. The ri rivalry outcomes, that's interesting. So, overall, let's see where we're at in the numbers. So, we're getting some tutorial stuff here. If you want to, you can pause and read these yourself if you wish. So, we got some feedback here. Top right, you can see Hayes and Alexander work really well together as a tag team. That is music to my ears because that's exactly what they're going to be for a, a long time coming, at least on this show. We gained 54,350 fans on the bottom left. And in the middle, you see we didn't make any profit. We lost $98. But, you know, it's not about that start. It's about just building some fans. If we lose a little bit in money, so be it. All right, SmackDown, they made money. Um, they gained 46,000 fans. Uh, we're going to see how Raw shaped up 53,000 fans. They lost $21,000, but they had a very good week in terms of fan retention and 43,000 for WCW they gained $54,000 in revenue so at the end of week one ECW our brand with Mick Foley and co leads the way by about a thousand fans or less over Adam Pierce and Raw Paul Heyman third Eric Bischoff WCW at the end at the back end of fourth okay Charlotte players got a little bit of a problem I had a costume malfunction during practice today I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to go tonight unless we fix it ASAP so we got some options here I could say we can miss, she'll miss the show. We can do a rush job and get it done for $5,000. Um, hmm. Oh, we're just gonna go ahead and poor Charlotte, we're gonna pay the big bucks and get it done uh, perfectly. So it's gonna be an increase to her morale. Triple H has got something to say here. Uh, Kevin's stamina has fallen below 40. So now he's vulnerable to become injured. The lower the stamina, obviously, the more severe potentially we could have issues so we can rest him fully to regain 12 stamina or do a promo to regain half which is six so some choices to be made we do have right here you see um book your least popular available star for a match this week if we do that we will get a bad timing card uh which could be interesting so let's let's uh look into it and let's see if there's anybody we want to add all right so here's the show we've booked out um again we don't have a ton of superstars available in the roster plus we're trying to save ko so Let's just get into it here. It's week two, our opening match, all non-title stuff today, just trying to save a little bit of money. Carmelo Hayes and his tag team action here. Gunther and Veer Mahan get the revenge. Three and a half star match, gains a level on the rivalry to level two. Call out for Logan Paul to try to start a feud with him and KO. Um, got a tag team action between our women's division here. Heels versus faces and the faces, um, Man, not great. Two stars, but it does begin a feud. I don't know if that's good or bad because it went so poorly. Brutus Creed MVP, Brutus Creed with the dub. And cool, man. Okay, not what I like to see there. To a one and a half star match. Our main event now here is our world television champion, Loomis. It's Lashley with the revenge. Three star match begins the feud. And that's that. Okay, so not a very strong overall showing from us but if you look at everybody else we a lot of other people struggled in the mid card matches as well smackdown i think had the most consistent show you see what they did they did have two title matches out going i mean that's that's a big plus for them um you know realistic booking in my opinion says don't do title matches every single week but with my gm they don't care about what's realistic <laughs> so maybe i need to cheese that more raw had a decent show overall main event there was not bad um, WCW had a pretty decent, uh, consistent show. I'll say that they were consistent through and through. So let's see the viewership and the numbers here. Charlotte Flair and Fallon Henley work incredible as a tag team. We gained money. We also gained fans, 40,936. Let's see if that's tops this week. I doubt it. So 40,000, yeah, SmackDown beats us by 5,000. Um, Raw beats us by 6,000. They're leading this week. 
and WCW with 43,000. So not a strong week. We do get the bad timing card for completing the objective, which is excellent. Uh, that means basically they can earn more from dramas. Okay, so they earn more Commissioner Gold Season Challenges also. That's interesting. Um, but where are we at now? So we've fallen. We're number two. Adam Pierce has jumped. He's ahead of us by 5,000 fans as we head to week three on the road to Hell in the Cell. And we've just been hit with scouted. We've been scouted by Adam Pierce and Raw. Okay, so this doubles the cash cost of talent scout searches next week. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so MVP, he wants a rematch. We'll make it happen. Even though it was a terrible match, we'll do it just for morale's sake. Um, and here we go. So do not book your most popular giant this week, which is Gunther. Um, that'll give us reward of injury rehab three. Hmm. Okay, so we can purchase an upgrade for our show here. Um, I'm gonna hang on to some money. We do. I do want to look, however, at bringing on a, another renowned star. So let's let's search here. Just spend a little bit of money. I want to add a little extra, a little extra to this roster, shall we? And I already see something I like quite a lot. L. A. Knight, ladies and gentlemen, he's here. I'm thinking I want to bring him on. Uh, we could do a five week contract. So you got contract work here now. Six weeks, seven week, eight week, nine week, ten week. You can keep going. You can look at this. You can go all the way to the end of the season, which would cost me two hundred eight thousand dollars. I could bring him on for a loaner. See how he does here for us at five weeks. Let's do it. Sixty one thousand. Bring him on. We got Liv Morgan as well, who's around. That may be good to add on to the to the women's roster. So let me look here. We got LA Knight. He is a face bruiser. So realistically. A heel fighter would be excellent, but we don't have one of those available to us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get Liv Morgan. Five weeks, bring her on for 57k. I'm also going to use a To The Moon card. This will raise a superstar with less than 60 popularity up 15 popularity. So this is a way to make somebody a mid carder to a main eventer quickly. Um, and this is just something I want to raise up mainly to help with some feuds and i'm gonna do it for i think right now we're gonna go ahead and build up for hmm, i'm thinking cora jade I, i'm thinking if we can get cora jade up maybe even la knight but cora jade it's got that 90 stamina if we can make her a mega star in a women's division that could be huge we're also going to use beginner's luck it will raise uh fallon henley up five popularity and we'll go ahead and do that so she'll go up to a higher level so now looking at our stuff here you got some some good superstars you got people up on the highest end look at dexter loomis at 79 popularity leads the way for us here um you love to see it all right ladies and gents here is the card we booked for our third show and we are going to open it up here with the rivalry with mvp and brutus creed let's see if it's better than one and a half stars i pray so brutus creed gets the dub Okay, it's getting better. Two and a half stars. It's improvement. It's not great for an opener, though. LA Knight, newest member on the brand. Get some popularity up for the superstar, the mega star he is. Core Jade versus Fallon Henley. Two people that have a mega boost on their popularity. And Henley gets the dub. It's a two star match. It's not very good. We get a tag team call out. This is new to this year's title. You see, that's good. So we get some increased rivalry to level three. Here we go. Two of our big main eventers, Logan Paul, Kevin Owens. Logan Paul with a dub over KO. Two and a half star match, level two feud. Liv Morgan, she's gonna get a weak promo. And uh, wow, that's not that's not what I need at all. And for the main event, for the World Television Championship, the champ Loomis is defeated. And Bobby Lashley regains the championship again just three weeks after he first lost it and the feud grows. And here is the drama curve. Ladies and gentlemen, Raw went bananas. Holy moly. Look at the show cards for some of these other guys here. Some good stuff going on with feuds. You got feuds all over the place on SmackDown. Raw though, two championship matches. Unbelievable there. And then right there, the Women's World Heavyweight Championship went nuts. The four star match between Becky and Bailey. Again, their women's division is good over there. WCW also had a 
really good main event there in the women's tag team matchup. But we we are two and a half, two, two and a half, three and a half. So not a strong showing from us there today. Thirty six thousand fans gained fifty two thousand dollars in revenue. Um, Smackdown almost ten thousand more than us. Ugh, Raw fifty two thousand. They are pulling away here. WCW with fifty one thousand, and we do gain the rehab card, which is nice for the goal. But we've dropped the third now, so we're we dug ourselves in a little bit of a bind here. You know, revenue-wise, we are sitting second in budget behind Paul Heyman at SmackDown, but we're behind him by one thousand. And Adam Pearce is just strolling and rolling right now with what they got going. So here we are. It's the Go Home Show, Austin, Texas. We've now been hit with This Is War by Adam Pearce, and now I cannot use those three superstars for matches this week, which. LA Knight doesn't hurt us. MVP kind of does because that feud was brewing. Uh, Alexa Bliss, a uh, little bit. Ah, it's not the end of the world. So Dexter Lumis says he's been talking to Creed a lot lately. Uh, they think they should tag back up together. I think we can do that. Uh, we'll try to get that done here in the next few weeks. So what do we need here? You want to, oh, no problem. You got to rematch your happy. Okay, great. Um, what do we get if we do this? Contract negotiations. Okay, y'all, we have $78,000 in the bag here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to email campaign. We don't have much money left now, 28000 but we're going to get more fans now than we did before. Eight show quality, $1,000 worth of network deal payouts, and we unlocked a new match type, which is Tornado Tag. So this is another thing this does. This unlocks you new match types and abilities and whatnot. As you can see, you go down, you get special guest referee new to the game this year. Um, some good stuff, but let's book out this go home show. It is the go home show for Hell in a Cell. And again, a little bit shorthanded this week, but we tried to make it work. So we're going to start things off. Tables match, Core Jade, Fallon Henley for the feud to continue to grow to the pay per view. And Fallon Henley with the win, a three and a half star match. Nothing for the feud there. Charlotte Flair going to get a call out there on Alexa Bliss, grows the feud a little bit. We get a this is Cruiserweight versus Giant face heel combination here. Carmelo Hayes with the win. Two star. What? How's that a two star match of those two? I have no idea how. Good night. Okay, so we got another call out there. Here's another matchup. Cedric Alexander with the win. So the the faces. Man, another terrible match. Logan Paul call out for KO and the main event. The same match we've been having. Let's see if the fans like it even more now. And it's Bobby Lashley, the champ, with the win. Three and a half stars. And that's that. All right. Look at the drama curve. And you see, we were pretty consistent across the board, uh, but we did have the weakest mid-card matches out there. Uh, SmackDown, very consistent stuff. I mean, yeah, when you got those mid-card matches, you're doing pretty good with the women's division. I see, I see right there, Raw, uh, Raw doing a good job. They did a little triple threat action. Good tag team there as well. A class change for Bray Wyatt. That's cool to see. Um, WCW, pretty good show as well. They had the best main event which was this tag action again running it back um, but let's see where we're at 40,000 fans gain we gained fifty four thousand dollars revenue smackdown forty five thousand fan gain that puts us behind them raw again just dominating dominating not what i want to see wcw fifty nine thousand fan retention rate you see that right there point nine nine five oh good lord wcw had an incredible week and we're now last Heading into our first PLE, we're last. And um, part of me wonders if the fact that we don't have a women's championship, if that's really handicapping us in this first season. Because every other brand, they have their main championship for the men, they have a mid-card championship, they have a tag team championship, and then they have a women's championship. We, we lack that. So here we go. We're gonna head to our first PLE, Hell in a Cell. We need a big one. All right, ladies and gents, there is our first PLE, Hell in a Cell. We tried to make it the strongest we possibly can with limited budget, limited superstars and ability we have here, but we got our opening matchup. It's a TLC matchup for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Your champ KO to defend against Logan Paul. Let's get it, simulate, let's see who wins it. 
Logan Paul, your new champion, legendary, completes the rivalry five-star opener to kick off our first pay-per-view. We'll take it. We get a call out, Core Jade. Calls out Finley. Oh man. Henley, excuse me. Not great. Alexa Bliss, Charlotte Flair, please give me at least a three-star match. Charlotte gets the win. So right there, Charlotte gets the win. A two and a half star match. Not the best, to be honest with you. LA Knight here getting at some charity spot, gaining some fans for us. Tag team action for the titles. The champs are the face cruisers, and they continue to get the wins. Three, four star completes the rivalry with those two. Uh, very nice job right there. Liv Morgan with a charity spot as well for herself. 45,000. 4,500, excuse me, fans gained. Brutus Creed MVP, which was a stinker to start things off, has gained steam. It is a three and a half star, completes the feud with those two as well. And that leads to the main event, a tables matchup for the World Television Championship. The champion Bobby Lashley versus the challenger. This is Dexter Loomis. And let's simulate, let's see who will walk out with the World Television Championship. It's Lashley. Of course it is. A four and a half star classic. Grows the feud that continues to our next event. All right, y'all. So there it is. And you can see it. We had a very strong showing. Very consistent. WCW, I think, maybe had the better. Yes, they absolutely had the better night. Three and a half stars was their lowest. Wow. Five star for SmackDown. They opened up with their champion. Wow. Okay. Creed versus Balor. It looks like creed got the dub over there okay you can see candles array i like how you can see the winners now by who glows that's nice to see i like that I don't, is that new raw you see becky lynch gets the dub at the end only two title matches there looks like maybe um okay false count anywhere here Ooh, i like that so dawkins gets the dub over hudson and that was a really excellent match as well. So let's see now. This is this is big time. 135,000 fans. We gained only $10,000 in profit. So that's an issue for us right now is money uh, is a big, big problem for ECW right now as it stands. But that's a big, big week. 135,000. That's more than SmackDown by about 6,000. Okay, Raw, I see you. Other fan bonus. Look at that. They got 34,000 fans from other fan bonus. What is that? Other venue and fan bonus lines include fans and revenue earned from match types, logistics, shakeups, and power cards. So Raw pulling off some tricks. WCW, 137,000 fans. So as we conclude our first play, uh, premium live event with Hell in a Cell, we are last, ladies and gentlemen. But it isn't insurmountable. Now, the budget is worrisome. So I'm going to leave it to you guys. Let me know what do we need to do to climb up the rankings heading into this next live event? What do we need to do to help with the budget to grow and blossom? How can we climb from the cellar all the way back to the top to contend with Raw WCW SmackDown? We'll have to find some answers in the next one. Y'all take it easy.